This presentation is to serve as an overview for the most recent developments in Carlson Machine Control's mining solution. This will include machine guidance for several types of machines, fleet management or the back office solution that provides fleet monitoring, file transfers, things like that, the production analysis that's available to, so that you know that you're getting the most out of your fleet, out of your machines, out of your operators. If you don't measure, you just don't know. And these systems are here to enable you to gather that type of data. And once that data is collected, there are some new powerful visual reporting tools that help you make the right decisions to get the most out of your site. The general categories of our machine rovers are mine grade, which mostly includes dozers, scrapers, that type of machine. We also have drill grade, which is compatible with platform drills, as well as crawler drills, articulating drills. Our dredge grade package is designed for, it is designed for dredging, and there are some offshore uh, mining applications, but from the dredge grade package, we also create our drag line package. Uh, it's compatible with cable cranes, but also shovels and, and large wheel loaders. The Truck Pro system is a basic material management system that tracks your loads, routes, haul cycles, dump locations, things like that. Our office suite is called Fleet Manager Office and consists of several modules. Some of these are uh, brand new. Fleet Manager Office, the first module is the core system. It provides a, an overview of one or more sites, one or more pits. It's totally up to you how you define that. Uh, you define your fleets in uh, using the Fleet Explorer. For example, you may have uh, an overburdened fleet of haul trucks or, or the actual material fleet of haul trucks, different dozer fleets, etc totally user definable. And this product also lets us populate new de design files, uh, VNC into each machine for troubleshooting, etc. And under that, or as part of that package, we have a new visual reporter. We'll touch base on that in a little bit. But the new visual reporter is quite powerful. It's a web-based system that allows you to set up different types of metrics. You can set up the metrics from one machine. Uh, you can pick a single metric and, and evaluate several operators uh, performing the same task. Uh, you can also create reports. It has a very flexible report generator. You save those reports and then you have the ability to schedule when those reports run automatically. The, the PDFs are placed in a particular location, and you can either access those or you can set up an email address or an email group and take those scheduled reports and then automatically email those. So it's quite powerful uh, and automatic once it's set up. Productivity Tools has been rewritten from the ground up. It's our third generation, and the grids... Everything about it has been optimized. So you're going to see, if you're an existing user of our, e, of our Pro Tools, uh, either the first or second generation, you're going to see substantial speed improvements as well as graphics and other items. The 3D Visualizer, uh, again, is a brand new product. And this allows a 3D playback of one or more machines of the site in, in a 3D mode, and this is reading the database, so you can get a near real-time view in 3D of your site, or you can go back and have historical playback. And with the optimizations that uh, Pro Tools 3 and the new Visualizer offer, you can take larger samples of data, uh, you know, accelerate their playback, and really see trends and have, you know, it's really a very powerful uh, analysis tool. Let's discuss the components that make up our machine guidance system. And forgive my uh, detail on some on the computer uh, specifications, but I think they're worth noting. The CBX6 control box console 
is a Microsoft Windows 7 compatible operating system. Very good for, for security, for uh, IT security requirements. 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom processor. So this is a fanless closed computer, uh, important in rugged and dusty environments. It has a 32 gigabyte solid state drive with a gigabyte of RAM and a very bright sunlight readable display at a good size 10.1 inches. We do get a lot of compliments on how visible the software is and the screen uh, shows in direct sunlight. It has two CAN bus ports, two serial ports, and two USB ports. Uh, USB ports, of course, for loading data if you don't have site connectivity. There is an Ethernet port, which you can attach a data radio to, for example, for connecting your site. And the CBX6 has support for a SIM card, a GSM SIM card. We can special order CDMA uh, compatible computers as well. And we're very proud of the three-year industry exclusive warranty on the components for this box. The all these boxes come with a GNSS card receiver board built inside. Now, by default, it's not activated, but depending on your application, if you only need one single RTK position, then we can enable this board and simply attach an antenna, and you have a very lean, easy-to-install, basic RTK positioning system. This is GPS plus GLONASS compatible. By default, it comes with an update rate of 10 hertz with a 20 hertz option. And then it has standard uh, GNSS accuracies. We can bring the RTK correction in through a UHF or perhaps a 900 megahertz radio or through the SIM card as mentioned earlier. And again, the board is uh, enabled through a UOA option. You pay for the uh, option, it's enabled, uh, then you have the feature. We also have a unique all-in-one sensor. The MC Pro VX6 all-in-one sensor is unique to Carlson Software. This single appliance has a dual L1, L2 GPS plus GLONASS receiver boards inside. It's also Beidou ready, the Chinese constellation, and currently at the time that's recording, that's applicable to Asia. That constellation will be expanded over time. The default update rate for the uh, RTK correction is 10 hertz. There is a 20 hertz option. So again, in this single unit, I have multi-constellation, position, and heading. I also have inside an RTK UHF radio and antenna. So uh, this is very nice in a single package uh, connected by only one cable. The radio is narrowband, uh, FCC compliant, Satel and Patcrest compatible. I also have a pitch and roll sensor inside this unit. So if you think about the components that are integrated, and the number of cables, contacts that are reduced, it's very significant. So in a, uh, let's, talk, let's say a mining dozer, for example, rather than place uh, antenna, UHF radio, UHF radio antenna, reverse sensor, all of these different components, a pitch and roll sensor, all of those cables, all of those sensors are replaced with a single appliance. And this connects with only one cable, again, to the CBX6 control box, makes installation very quick. It also makes troubleshooting very quick. It's, if there's an issue with something, uh, it's very simple to pull off the component uh, and replace it, replace that one component, uh, greatly reducing machine downtime. The uh, operating temperatures are expansive for cold and hot weather. And this appliance also, the VX6, has an industry-exclusive three-year warranty on the components. Where needed, and again, depending on the type of machine, 
what type of articulation you're measuring. We also have the SNX5 axial sensor. This is with a partnership with MGB Tech, and uh, these sensors we've 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 got several hundred out there. They're very rugged. We have them working uh, in in the ocean and salt water with some of our large customers. And uh, the, but the other things about the sensors that make them unique, not only are they cost competitive and very rugged. Uh, but they're also much easier to manage. For example, through software, the box can be configured for uh, pitch, roll, and angularity, uh, depending on, again, what you're measuring. And the update rates, everything can be configured through software, so we don't have to pull, uh, breach or open the units in the field to make changes that we need. And again, depending on your application, this sensor will emulate other sensors, meaning that depending on the application, we can uh, replace only one or two sensors in a, in a sensor array without having to replace all of them. There are other uh, sensor types that Carlson supports. So, uh, you know, we would look at your application Perhaps you have an older positioning system on there. We may be able to support the sensors that you already have installed. Now that we've talked about the components that we offer, the three-year warranty, the unprecedented integration and simplicity of installation and troubleshooting, we'll begin to talk more specifically about the applications. And the first one we'll discuss is our dozer system, the mine grade machine guidance system for dozers in a mining application. And I'll just step through some of these fairly quick. You can see the CBX6 control box console with Carlson mine grade for dozers loaded. We'll look at some screenshots in a moment. But some of the key features are that the display can be fully user configurable. In other words, we can go through and set up which screens you see and in what order if you wish to see more than one screen. I think we have 12 uh, different views that can be configured, uh, turned on and off and configured in whatever order that you need. We also can set up 3D avoidance zones horizontally and vertically. And this is actually done uh, when the model file is built before it's loaded into the machine. And this will provide, uh, you know, it'll keep the machines working in certain areas, uh, providing information and feedback to the operator so they don't work in areas that you don't want them to, perhaps near high walls, etc. And with a connected job site, there are proximity warnings between machines and assets, and this lets machines know when they get close to each other. Perhaps it's a blind, uh, it's you know it's a dark uh, operation, or it's in a blind spot. These uh, warnings are can be set up as audio and visual. And another thing to note is as the operator interacts with these zones, with these warnings. Depending on their action, all of this information is recorded in a log file for later playback to better analyze what happens, for example, if there unfortunately happened to be an accident. The software has infield, ramp, and bench design all built inside the software. Real-time cut and fill and on grade to multiple design surfaces. You can also use default training movies that Carlson Machine Control provides on some of the more popular features. If you need a refresher course, uh, let's say you haven't uh, built a ramp or a slope in some time, you can turn on or enable the movies button, watch a movie on how to do that particular feature, or perhaps more powerfully, you can create your own movies perhaps safety check movies, operational movies, produced by the user, 
load it into the system, and then access those particular movies. The interface can be as simple or as advanced as the application or operator requires. Not only can we set the views up to have different views in different orders, we can also turn everything off perhaps but one view. We also can enable or disable the buttons across the bottom of the screen, again adding functionality or pulling back functionality to create a simpler user interface. Because there's RTK positioning on the system, we can do uh, basic survey functions like collect points, stake out points, and as built points uh, as well. The MindGrade software will directly import DWG files, DXF files, uh, TopCon TN3, GC3 files, supports 10 files, grid files, as well as comma delimited ASCII files. This is supported without conversion, so it saves a lot of time in the field. You can manage multiple drawing layers from uh, your AutoCAD uh, or IntelliCAD drawings. And we talked about ramp and bench design above. You can also build flat pads, single, uh, single slope pads, dual slope pads, or you can actually build uh, a more complex multi-slope pad if you need to work with drainage. We also have reporting for dozer push cycles, uh, average push lengths, the volume, and also the angle of the push. Let's take a look at a few of the typical screenshots. Uh, will give us a little more information. We can see the uh, coordinates of the dozer position. We can get the quality, know, know that our RTK signal is good and we can see our actual elevation and our design elevation. That gives us our cut and fill and our slopes over to the side. Looking at the screen, these are the buttons that we can turn on and off. Now the first two uh, are on by default. We can't edit those, but this gives me one, two, three, four, five, six buttons that I can user define. There's Oh, quite a few buttons that I can reassign, or I could turn all these off, have one screen, and have a very basic functioning system. Another advantage uh, by using a Windows based computer and some of the algorithms that we use to process surfaces, uh, I can load very large surface files uh, and not have to slice those files up. Some of the other packages, I either they either only load part of the data, or I need to uh, a little more file management to slice files up in order to work with them. Let's move on to the platform and vertical drills supported. This product is called Drill Grade. Blast hole design comes from several sources, and Drill Grade supports several workflows to accommodate that. If the design is done back in the office and you have a connected job site, you can telematically load those files remotely into your drills, into drill grade. You can take the design source, put it on a thumb drive, and manually load the file uh, through the thumb drive. Or some applications require an infill pattern design, and drill grade will accommodate that also. As with other grade products, Drill grade also supports avoidance zones, horizontal and vertical, uh, enabling the audio and visual alarms, logging operator interaction with those zones and with those alarms, and uh, certainly assists in keeping the machines working in designated areas. If there are other pieces of equipment working on site, other drills, dozers, etc., the if the site is connected. You also will have the proximity features so that each machine can see each other, uh, certainly in blind spots. Uh, tagging of strata is supported uh, as you're drilling, and that's logged to the DRL file. So you could actually 
If you're logging that strata, you can take the DRL file, put it back in the Office software, and compare the design strata to the as-drilled strata. Several other drill parameters are recorded in the DRL file, and all of these can be set up in the flexible uh, report generator. And of course, there's real-time information uh, while you're drilling, navigating, etc., for the operator. And with site connectivity, some of this information is available for monitoring. We'll step through a few of the actual screenshots of drill grade. And you can look at these and get a better understanding of some of the feature sets. Here we can see where we have we are we've navigated to a hole. The X shows that we are over top of our target to get ready to drill. The green hole shows that we have what we've already drilled, and the red hole shows what we have left to drill. This screenshot shows our drilling progress uh, and that we're plumb over the hole, what our tolerances are, etc. They're just really a, a lot of features packed into this, and, and this quick overview is not, not doing, doing it justice. I would recommend getting a, a go-to-meeting demonstration or an on-site trial from one of our dealers uh, to, to learn more about what the package can do for you. Uh, this screen shows us our rate of penetration, etc. Uh, the you know drilling is such a critical component, and you know getting the right fragmentation, drilling the holes accurately, uh, prescribing your uh, demolition uh, uh, prescription perfectly. All these things impact all downflow processes, and it's a very critical part of of mining, as you know. Let's move into a uh, crawler or articulating drills. Uh, I realize these are maybe more prevalent in quarries or constructions, but there are uh, mining companies that are using articulating drills as well. So we want to touch on these a little bit. And again, you know, machine guidance uh, offers, but because we're basically doing surveying and navigation and some of these things with the machine, uh, we certainly are uh, more proficient and and we'll see these features and benefits over and over. Uh, but we do reduce the need for the majority of a surveyor's task. We may not completely eliminate a surveyor, but you know, 90, 95% of the tasks can be uh, reduced. Uh, the cost of the staking and survey consumables is reduced uh, because we don't have to mark spots and then go find those stakes to drill by. There's certainly a safety increases by eliminating people working uh, at the work face since this type of work can be done from the cab of the drill. The increased accuracy of utilizing 3D modeling over stakeout uh, is a big benefit. So, you know, stakeouts uh, are as good as they are at their grid intervals. Uh, 3D modeling provides this information at a much higher resolution. Your documentation of, you know, this is what I'm supposed to drill, here are my patterns. How did I actually drill them? The angle, the depth, uh, what was the tolerance that I was actually able to deliver that? And the ease of, of documenting that uh, for your records, for analysis, uh, and also for, uh, you know, improving future production. All of these things are made easier with uh, drill grades uh, positioning system. The as with the vertical drill platform drills, the pattern design is flexible. It can be done in the office in a variety of file formats, loaded into the drill by telematics, loaded into the drill with a thumb drive, or uh, field pattern design is also available inside the software. These are some of the file types that are supported, DWG, DXF, uh, ASCII files, and IREDES files.
move through some of the obvious benefits, some we've already discussed. So, in summary, these products are designed for mixed fleets, mixed brands, articulating and crawler drills, uh, platform drills. There, it's an, uh, the packages are kitted for retrofit on existing drills. We have worked with Atlas Copco to integrate into their Smart Rock and Flexi Rock drills. Basically, how that works is we can take our CBX6 control box, our MC Pro VX6 all in one uh, uh, positioning unit, and connect to the internal machine messaging that gives us penetration rates and uh, depth, angle uh, of the feeder, etc. And we'll, we'll be able to see a little bit more of this when we discuss the anatomy of the systems. But for Smart Rock and Flexi Rock drills, we have a very robust system that just bolts right on. Installation is less than a half a day with no drilling. The software across all of our grade products, again, are uh, simple to use. Our GNSS components are uh, integrated. And again, we have a three-year warranty on those appliances, on those components. Navigation and high accuracy positioning uh, facilitate drilling in all weather conditions, day or night, because you're using the system to guide you. You don't have to see marks on the ground or worry about snow covering up stakes. All of our drill grade systems are compatible with our back office system, uh, giving you a full workflow for monitoring remote connection and troubleshooting, reporting, etc. Now, as we did with the uh, platform drills, we'll move through a few of the screenshots of the articulating drill machine configuration, uh, providing you with a little more information exactly how things work, what the user interface actually looks like. So lots of metrics available to record. Again, all going to a DRL file that is uh, open sourced, can be uh, brought into Excel spreadsheets and what have you, but also compatible with our back office reporting system. Um, you know, we can get total length drilled, uh, just lots of, lots of different things. There are some drill reports, uh, uh, brief re production reports available on the drill itself uh, in drill grade. And uh, we can export the data to other file formats as well. So closing out the drills, again, this is an overview. I highly recommend getting a, a demonstration or a trial to learn more about the drill grade system. Let's chat briefly about our Truck Pro system. Our Truck Pro system is designed to electronically record what has traditionally been a paper intensive uh, manual type process and and put that you know use gps location low precision gps location uh, to record things that typically operators uh, write down uh, on paper paper logs the events in truck pro are recorded via operator input and the production questions for hauling cycles there is some real powerful uh, uh, options here. Using the back office software, you can create lists of these production questions. You can put these questions in a, the particular order you want. So you have some flexibility uh, in how these are created, and that helps guide the, uh, the, the operators uh, to record their information in a consistent manner. The 
questions will pop up at the beginning of a shift, and once those are populated, they will sort of default and roll so it doesn't require so much attention after the first series are uh, answered and the defaults are in at the beginning of the shift. Geographic areas can be selected and defined from polygons in the office to automatically uh, trigger certain items. For example, uh, it'll use GPS to know which coal seam you're in, uh, which loading location, which dumping location, etc. And then it will automatically uh, select answers based on that geographic location. The back office also offers a series of flexible reports that can be created just like uh, with some of the other metrics of the other machines and uh, production groups can be created, etc. I mean, really the system is designed to be flexible and meet the needs, the frequency of reports, and the format of reports that you need. Another important uh, feature is that sometimes errors can happen, uh, especially if, if we're relying on operator input, there can be uh, you know, the possibility of errors, and the software will allow you to easily go through the timeline and go back and uh, uh, shift data. For example, if a dump location, if you have stray dump locations or stray load loading locations, when you map these out and see them, there it'll become obvious, and the software facilitates editing this information uh, quite easily. This package, uh, may be obvious, does require the back office system uh, to work. It's, it's, we, we've tried to design minimal interaction in the truck, although there are some, uh, but the most of it's handled uh, in the back office. Future enhancements to Truck Pro will more automate the process involving the operator's input less and less. And as before, we can uh, move through a few screenshots of the Truck Pro system, and I think that'll speak volumes for what, what the system is capable of. Also, if you'll notice, we have changed the, the control box, the computer in the truck. The trucks sometimes, they, you know, they require lower cost systems, and uh, the GNSS does not need to be as high precision, although there are some high precision truck applications. So we've selected this particular uh, computer, lower cost, very rugged, very reliable, uh, and the software is designed to run on this package. There's a, also a very rug, ruggedized uh, vehicle dock that the unit mounts in. So I'll move through a few of the screenshots. see our, our production. So the operator does have some status as they're, as they're working. So that wraps the basic overview of the Truck Pro system. Next, we will move into the site management tool, Grade Supervisor. As you've probably noticed, the products all are built on the same core software platform. The nice thing about this is that it provides a consistent user interface between all of the machines. If the supervisor is a site champion uh, or a dozer operator needs to move to another machine, the system will be very, very familiar. The file formats are the same. There's file structures. So this makes uh, for a much more compatible ecosystem across the site. Well, Grade Supervisor is no different. And it's designed to work on a pole or in a pickup truck for checking grade, doing volumes, things like that. So again, we've selected the lower cost. Uh, more basic uh, tablet to run this on. Grade Supervisor can run on the CBX6. If, uh, for example, if you're not, if you want high precision, and, and you likely will, and you're not going to be using it on the pole, and you're basically going to remain 
uh, in the supervisor vehicle, you may want to mount uh, the CBX-6 uh, in the vehicle, enable the uh, uh, internal GNSS, or even put the uh, VX-6 on top of the truck, and that way you've got your slope, uh, cross slope, long slope, your elevations are accurate, and you'll more accurately check what the machines are doing. But uh, to go through some of the key features, uh, grade supervisor provides real-time cut and fill and on grade across the project. You can collect and stake points uh, as with the other packages. And there is a unique 3D volumes routine inside of grade supervisor. Uh, very easy to use, very powerful. Some of this software comes from our uh, civil engineering desktop and mining packages. And we've scaled that down and made it more field friendly. But uh, it's fantastic for computing stockpiles, uh, just comparing two surfaces to get status. This package, as with the others, will directly import DWG, DXF files, also the surface files, the localization files, and line work files from Topcon's machine control systems, and our own TIN and GRID files. If you use Carlson, you're, you will be familiar with these file types. You can use Grade Supervisor to build pads and then load those pads into the machine. Uh, the advantage here may be if an operator is inexperienced in a dozer, or if you don't want to interrupt his production. Uh, he can keep working. You could go out with Grade Supervisor, build the pads, load them in the machine, and they'll be ready to use when the machine operator needs them. The same management of AutoCAD layers is provided in Grade Supervisor. And this, as are the other grade products, built on Microsoft Windows 7 and 8. For uh, We try to stay current with the Windows operating system, primarily for IT security. Grade Supervisor will support uh, an NTRIP connection if that's the way the site's set up. Uh, or, of course, you can add a radio uh, or, or if you're it, either with this Panasonic or the CBX6, they both have GSM uh, SIM card support, so you could bring the uh, correction through that card, through the SIM card. Let's talk about our dredge grade package. Now, the name's a little misleading. We, we Basically, what this is, it's a package that accommodates, uh, you know, body boom stick bucket type machines. So excavators, cable cranes, uh, dredgers, but also drag lines and shovels, we, we build those machines out of this package. Let's specifically talk uh, briefly on some of the dredging applications. Now, I realize that's not as prevalent in mining. There are, there are mining operations that are, you know, getting uh, limestone underwater, getting... Uh, aluminum uh, from underwater, and so those do apply, uh, but I, I'll go through this just a little bit and then uh, we can tie that into the way shovels and loaders and what have you work. Uh, same type of uh, foundation software built on the grade platform. So plan and profile views, we can, if it's on water, we can monitor the barge. Uh, and uh, monitor the uh, excavator uh, separately from the barge, basically monitoring heading on both. Again, getting the real-time update of cut fill, and this is because we're because of the array of sensors, we know the the bucket tooth, so we can we don't have to. This can be monitored in a blind cut. There are different types of sensors that we support. Flow meters allow us to uh, monitor things underwater or uh, monitor things that are in a very uh, rugged, uh, harsh environment. And we can monitor the articulation uh, using a flow meter without damaging, you know, without the potential damage and downtime of a sensor. 
we have many different attachment types, uh, certainly in the dredging market. So we are able to set up and customize a, a table of different attachments. They can be calibrated, pre-measured, set up, and then selected from a table as those attachments are changed. In the dredging application, many times we've, we've got tilt and rotating buckets. There may be a body boom, boom stick bucket. Uh, just lots of different uh, configurations in the system will accommodate those. The calibration routine of a body boom stick bucket type machine can be quite time consuming and I won't go into a lot of detail but we have a very productive uh, calibration routine that's basically using a least squares type adjustment and a series of movements to take what can be an eight hour calibration routine uh, to under two hours so big benefit there for these complex uh, type machines. We'll move through a few of the screenshots. Again, this speaks a, a lot of, uh, tells a lot what the package can do. Dredging is still removing material from a surface, uh, existing surface, design surface, and monitoring that progress. some of the configuration screens of how we accommodate the many different types of machines. If you'll notice the uh, finger grab attachment in the upper right we actually monitor the opening and closing of those attachments. So again, the flow meter uh, support means that the sensors are not directly on a bucket to handle harsh environments. Hydraulic grabber support with open and close monitoring with no sensors on the grab. Add your own custom tool attachment or machine design to accurately represent what's happening on the screen and you're getting log files recorded for uh, recorded locally inside the CBX6 control box console for post analysis if you're connected that can flow across our heartbeat protocol uh, via telematics and this product is compatible with our back office for the monitoring file transfers, and reporting and visualization features. To tie uh, together the different types of machines and the uh, components that we've covered, uh, let's just move through some of the different anatomies that the different machines require and how we position those sensors. We'll start with a dozer. The control box console is the primary user interface component. It's connected to power. It also has a battery backup system to uh, keep the data integrity uh, there. And the MC Pro VX6 on the roof of the dozer gives me track elevation, RTK position, heading, pitch, and roll. And we're actually using some very interesting algorithms moving between the pitch and roll sensor, the accelerometer, and the two GPS antennas for giving us long slope and cross slope based on speed and motion and uh, whether or not we're setting still. We're combining all of these technologies to give us a very accurate cross and uh, long slope. I can. No, uh, if, I, if I wish not to use the VX6, I can enable the GNSS receiver inside the CBX6, add a pitch and roll sensor to the body, and put an antenna on top of the machine to get a single GNSS position. Uh, the radio on the back of the machine illustrates that I can add a 900 megahertz or UHF radio, or I could use the SIM card inside the control box.
moving these components to an excavator type machine. I can add a receiver that has the receiver has two antenna inputs so that I can define a longer heading baseline for these larger machines like shovels. And then accelerometers are our axial sensors on the body boom stick and bucket. For the truck system we talked about, it's a low precision. I could add the CBX6 or the Tough Tablet, depending on cost and what's, uh, what the application uh, requires, and uh, use low accuracy for the truck positioning. Or I can add the high accuracy heading unit on the truck and do other things like guide, uh, guide the truck where it's backing up and, and getting loaded. Basic scraper system, uh, single GNSS position or antenna on the scraper and uh, the control box. So a very minimal basic grading system. Now the drilling system for articulating drills, we have a very unique solution. I can I put the uh, obviously put the control box inside the cab. I will put the uh, all-in-one integrated MC sensor on the cab roof of the cab, and that's got the radio inside. I so that gives me position and heading, pitch and roll of the cab. Then I enable the GNSS receiver inside the CBX6 control box. Put the antenna on top of the feeder. And I'm using the radio inside the VX6 to correct for the position on top of the feeder. So I'm getting RTK position and heading of the machine, as well as high accuracy RTK position on top of the feeder. And then the accelerometers, whether if it's Atlas Copco, it's integrated, and I, I simply plug a cable in and get the machine signals, or I can retrofit uh, accelerometers where they need to go to give me whatever articulation uh, that I need to measure. And uh, we have, uh, this illustrates correction from a base station uh, set up from, uh, just to, to broadcast a UHF correction for one or more machines. So in summary, uh, just to go back over the components, drill grade software with internal GNSS activation, inside the CBX6 control box. The rugged antenna is on top of the feeder position, giving me a high accuracy RTK position. The high performance RTK position and heading unit, and that radio providing RTK correction for all of the GNSS. And the axial sensors uh, monitoring uh, pitch and roll of the feeder, the articulation of the feeder, as well as depth sensors all feeding together to provide me with all of my drilling metrics. And to illustrate the simplicity of the system, this is the wiring diagram for that. So uh, very minimalistic if you're used to other systems. Control box and my harness to my heading unit and my uh, uh, feeder RTK antenna. This is my uh, other items if I need them. For example, I have a reverse relay option here that's not required because I'm using heading on the all-in-one sensor. Next machine would be the dredging. Uh, this would, again, the upper excavator would give me some, would give me an idea of the, the uh, shovel, of a hydraulic shovel or an excavator. And also, uh, and then it'd be a little different for a, for a rope shovel. But I put the control boxes inside the cabs of the machine. I place the heading unit, uh, all in one heading unit on the uh, dredger, or I can use the receiver that allows me a wider baseline user defined baseline definition for more accurate heading of larger machines. And then the Axial sensors are placed in the appropriate place, depending on the application. And you can see in the lower dredger, I can uh, monitor the angle of the of the dredgers as they as they drop down. 
We use this system to also configure cable cranes, uh, special custom tools people require, uh, monitoring bar barges separately, etc. I've mentioned Fleet Manager Office throughout the presentation. Now let's talk about some of its functionality uh, and also some screenshots and the modules that are included. So basically Fleet Manager Office is the package back in the office. It contains several modules and it primarily is provides the ability to connect everything together and remotely monitor the machines see the surface, see the job, and see the different machines working. You can turn machines on and off, fleets on and off, and also be able to transfer files out to the machine. For example, if you have a design change, you can take that design change, package it, and populate one machine, several machines, or populate fleets that you've design, uh, defined within Fleet Manager Office. Your proximity warnings can be established and set up inside of Fleet Manager Office. Fleet Manager has a productivity tools module that, that sort of runs as a ongoing calculator and building a database so that information is readily available for production analysis. There is a 3D viewer, 3D visualizer that provides uh, near real-time 3D movement, and we'll watch a video in a, a short video in a moment. That uh, it, you can watch it in near real time, or you can also go back and uh, give a beginning and ending date, and actually do a hist historical playbacks. And the visual reporter is a component of. Fleet Manager Office, and we've seen some screenshots about it. Primarily, the Visual Reporter gives us another way to look at the database uh, through uh, tiles of metrics per machine or a group of mach uh, machines. We can bring in the surface of a single machine or of multiple machines and add them together so that I've got an updated grid for the entire site. That's one of the primary functions. This is done through uh, grid files uh, or CSV files, but we've also developed a B grid file, B B G R D, and this new grid format greatly optimizes the surface for quick processing and gives us the ability in this latest version to do things that we haven't been able to do before in a much more timely fashion. We can look at daily changes. We can look at daily differences, volumes, what's happened, uh, what, what are the differences that have occurred that day. And we can monitor, use this information to monitor up-to-date productivity. We can get cut fill volumes per machine. We can do this again in near real time or historically, and we can also monitor uh, push pushes, dozer pushes, uh, the number and the length of the push. This is a, an example of the Visual Reporter's dashboard, and we'll take just a few moments. Basically, this is available for all metrics in the database, most all metrics and metrics will be added to the tables over time. But I can take a metric like uptime and I can make it uh, a large tile or a small time, like a small tile, like this runtime. And I've got different gauges that I can choose. But these are totally user definable. And I can, you know, the, the system will come with suggested templates, but I can drag and drop and move these around lock them in place. And uh, the auto scroll feature is nice. We have some clients that want to know what the production is at a glance. So they'll put a series of uh, TVs actually around the site uh, in the locker room and the boardroom and put it on auto scroll. And this will scroll up and down 
the metrics will scroll up and down and kind of provide a ticker tape type view into the database with up to the minute production. We can another look at the database. You know, we're populating this database in the back office from all the machines. And another way we can analyze, another tool we have to, to analyze our production and look at our GPS signals and know how well everything is functioning is through full 3D visualization. Uh, we can again play back machines over an existing surface. We can vary the speed of the playback for the machines. We can view uh, wireframe, cut and fill in the 3D mode, and also uh, insert a Google overlay. At any point in time, we can output a surface and view much larger data sets than we were able to before, as much as a year. So we basically could pull, select a shovel and give it uh, a quarter or a year's worth of data, play that back, speed it up, and it really gives a unique uh, view into the data and how the grids are updated and how the production's working, where I'm productive, where I'm not productive, etc. And I think this uh, short movie will go a long way in uh, illustrating how this works. Visual Reporter is all new. It's a, it's a web-based report generator, and you've already seen some of the screenshots from this throughout the presentation. But it, it gives a very unique perspective on the data uh, through the dashboard. Uh, through uh, building custom reports, you can, basically you have lots of flexibility to go in and format the reports the way you want them, uh, graph them, put them in the order that you want. We found that it was just impossible to build reports that work for everyone. Uh, rather, we have built a tool that enables and empowers these uh, array of flexible reports. Uh, but the you know some of the examples are uptime, idle time, operator time, per machine, dozer pushes, length and count, uh, productivity for various machines, uh, just many different things, tasks, delays, activities uh, to go in and map and l analyze and look at production or lack of, lack of production. These reports can be saved. You can look at the timelines between dates. You can build these reports and schedule and email reports by individual or by email groups. And this web-based Visual Reporter has uh, administrator privileges with definable multi-tier passcode access. So you could even set this up, as I mentioned earlier, as a, as a viewer, where someone can just go in and view certain things. So that's uh, we're real happy to have that product. It, it's going to answer a lot of, uh, fill a lot of needs that people have asked us over the past uh, eight or nine years. This is just a screen of the different types of, you know, wire type machines, color cut fill on top of a Google map, uh, the rendered shovels, uh, traces, dot traces, different types of reports, just a quick view of what's possible in the new release of the software. Uh, as we wind down the presentation, this is just, these are real application photographs of users that are using our products around the world. You can see dredging, mining, overburden, uh, many different applications. And we're, we're very fortunate to uh, work with some of the customers on the scale that we do.
at www.carlsonmachinecontrol.com. We have data sheets, brochures. You can download uh, sample versions of the software. The documentation is there. Press releases, all of our latest news, but also uh, customer testimonials. We do application videos, interviews, and try to learn from our customers. And uh, they're, they're, many of them are willing to share their experiences uh, so others can learn from that as well. That concludes the presentation. I hope there has been a good overview of what we're offering in our latest iteration of software. Please contact us again for a go to meeting. We'll answer your questions, uh, do simulation demonstrations of the software, and uh, if appropriate, happy to work with you uh, through our uh, distribution channel in setting up trials, on site presentations, and what have you. Thank you very much for your time.